profession. Hi, this is Darcy Singh sending a quick clip tip of the day to remind myself how to do this viewer design. Basically, I am working on Beaver Studio 1.19.0. I've added these feathers, which is basically connected to my head right now. But I do not want that. So I will need to export this. And under export, it will show this menu. Basically, under reduce materials, make sure to unclick combine hair mesh. Unclick it before you export. It has to be empty. And then you export it to Unity. But right now, your Unity, which my Unity is 2021.2.6 F1, oh, nonsense, uh, already has the Unity software. You probably don't. So you need to go to the Uni VRM to download the software. Where you go, you go to this Git URL. Make sure you copy the link address. Go back to Unity. Go to your window. Go to your package manager. This window will pop up. Pop up. And you press the plus sign, you go to the URL section, paste. Ask be add package from git URL. And you paste the address and you add. It will install the software for you. It is great. But don't forget, you need to copy all four of these one at a time and install all of them before you continue. Next thing you need to do is also go to the Sigipan, um this is a Japanese Unity bone weight transfer file. Uh, great software. There is a free one and one you pay. I do not know what the pay one does, but get the free one. Once you get the free one, you will unpackage the file. When you unpackage the file, as you can see here, you can just double click it and it will install straight to your Unity. You will be done. Double click and install. Yay done so now we're going back to unity here we have all the softwares and you can see the vrm vrm one and tools bone weight so there you go so let's import here file i imported it already Ta da it's done and then we go here and we go to your character that you want to fix go to uh prefab uh open assets in context or you know individual whatever it they all do the same thing Basically, you will open this file up and you open the root and then you open all of it and the hairs. Basically, it will be like all this nonsense where uh, are all your bones and connection for your animation character. But basically, if you keep unloading the windows, as you can see, it will be connected to the neck and then the head and then head has all these hairs. It had more hairs before I removed some of these. Basically, when you click on the hair, these crosshairs will show out on which hair you're selecting. Make sure you also know the name of the hair and rename it. This is what I did. I just renamed this hair. I don't know why. It just happens. And basically, afterwards, you move all the hairs to where you want it to be connected to. I want it to be connected to the hip. So there it is. It is under the hip section now. It's no longer in the head. Oh my god, what did I do? Mer, undo. Anyhow. <laughs> now is connected to the hips uh but that doesn't end everything you must go to tools go to the bone weight transfer and then you will see this japanese window pop up it is a little confusing but it's not that confusing basically you will need to put the name of the hair that you renamed of course around here renamed up here number one and then you need to put in the name of where it used to be, which is basically under the head. Here, head number two. Here you go. And then you want it to go to the hips. And you put it here. I mean, hips. Yay! And then you transfer. This is transfer or whatever. Reconnect. It will do it. And then once it's all done, it should all work out and it should be connected properly to the hips somewhere down here and instead of the head. Okay, that is it. We are done. This is the last time I... Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Mer.